I really like my hair is just so poofy. Yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Oh my gosh, Holly, that like, this side or that side? I don't know. Leave it, Holly. Leave it. It just like poofs around a bit. Right. So I'm just put my hair in a little ponytail because. <coughs> <coughs> hey guys. It's Holly's usual upload day, it's a Sunday. It is my first official recipes video. Because I always post about my food and I post pictures on my Instagram, I talk about it on my channel here a lot. Obviously I get questions, quite a few questions from you guys like, what's the recipe, can we have the recipe, how did you make this, blah blah blah. So I wanted to start these types of videos off with a set of five recipes and these five recipes are all so, so simple. I was like, what should I do first? Because at the moment, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have been experimenting with new recipes and quite complicated things. But to be honest with you, I wanted to make the first video of these as simple as possible. I wanted to give you five of my staple recipes and I make these all the time. I want to start with simple, simple recipes with very minimal ingredients because that is always what I look for in a recipe. These things, I guarantee you, you will have these ingredients in your house and if not, you can substitute it for a different piece of fruit or something. They're very cheap and hence student budget friendly. Being on a student budget doesn't mean that you have to eat ready meals every day. You don't have to just eat really unhealthy, really boring, tasteless food. No. Plant foods are the cheapest foods you can get on this planet and you can turn them into amazing, amazing recipes. I'm going to be showing you some of the staples that I have in my kitchen, both at home and at university, and I'm gonna just be giving you the prices for your information, and I wanna show you where I get them from and where I get them really cheaply. Okay, they're summer recipes, and they're vegan recipes, of course, and put those two and two together and you kind of think of a salad. And I'm telling you right now, not one of these five recipes is a salad. Not that I don't like a salad, I love a good, big, hearty, leafy, greeny salad. But, none of these recipes are a salad. They are all super, super amazingly tasty, healthy, yummy. I love them so, so much. So I've got nice cream, and if you don't know what nice cream is, it's basically ice cream, but it's made purely from bananas. And this is my two ingredient ice cream. Secondly, I've got dope bars, dope bars, and that is my sister and I's name for our energy bars, which have two main ingredients in them, which are dates and oats. And then I'm gonna be showing you how to make a green smoothie bowl. The fourth recipe is granola, which is basically granola, but it's 100% raw, so you don't have to cook it or anything. Finally, I have got my porridge. I love porridge. And that is why I say summer recipes, because I wouldn't really cast porridge as your standard summer recipe because it's supposed to be warm outside and then you're supposed to have something refreshing. But I still insist on having oats every day even though it's summer in the UK and I say that very tentatively because I would not class this weather right now as summer. I'm staring at grey clouds. It broke out, it rained really heavily like an hour or so ago. It started the thunder and you call that summer in the UK? Hello? Is there anything else I need to say? Uh, no, Holly, moving on now. Okay. We've got some fancy music coming up and fast words. The uh, yeah, there. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, dope bars. Look at that texture! Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Recipe number one is nice cream. These are the toppings that I'm using and I'm showing you how to make a kiwi flower. So I've already made one with a golden kiwi and this is now a normal green kiwi. So what you do is you put your knife in at an angle and go around the middle of the kiwi and then you do the same but at an other angle to form a zigzag pattern as I'm showing you here. Okay, now you just need to go and make a kiwi flower and it'll make you feel amazing. Okay, we're moving on. Sorry, this is going faster than I expected. Yes, so you need some frozen bananas to be put into a food processor but not the whole tub as you saw and then you just basically blend it with a bit of water then i added some frozen raspberries and it turns this beautiful pink color i mean look how nice it looks oh yeah and there's a the texture again oh my gosh now it's in the bowl okay this is going very fast but anyway this is my coconut bowl by the way <gasps> breathe but anyway the coconut bowls you can get 10 percent off using the code holly 10 
holly 10 people you can get a 10 percent discount and then i was just decorating it and oh my goodness me these coconut bowls aesthetic on a whole new level instagram be warned holly has got a coconut bowl now Dope bars made recipe number three. So yes, I said these are made with two main ingredients. The third one is sultanas, but coming later. So you need some dates and oats. And the first thing you're gonna do is put your dates in the food processor. I was using dried dates, so I had to use a bit of warm water to help them blend. But if you're using fresh dates, you can omit the water. Then you add the oats. Then you keep blending in your food processor. Then you get mad at the food processor because it's not actually blending. You then check that it's not leaking. And then you get happy because it is actually blending now. Um, yeah, I think it was overheating cra like crazy this food processor because I did so much blending on this day. But anyway, this is the texture that you should end up with at the end and then you get a greaseproof non-stick tray like I have here and then you just whack it onto the tray and you just smooth it all out and this is really fun. It gets your arm working, it's a proper arm workout and you just have to spread it all over that tray. Yeah, make some pretty lines, do some swirling patterns, there we go Holly. And then you just go around the edge, just make sure it's not gonna stick and you can get it up easily. And then you um, then you pet it with a spoon, yeah, because you get a bit bored at the end. And then here come the sultanas guys. You add some sultanas, you push them in so that they stick and stay. Then you sprinkle it with more oats on top to make it look super, super pretty. Then you score it and this batch load makes me 12 energy bars. The final step is to then put it in the freezer for about one to two hours just to help it set because it's raw, you don't cook it. Here is your typical summer smoothie bowl. It's green, obviously, because I added some greens and it's great for those days when it's actually hot in the UK. Those are a rarity, may I add. But anyway, so this is what I'm adding. The nectarine can be substituted for another piece of fruit and to make it green, I used kale specifically. I then added some coconut water, which breaks my budget, but oh well, it tastes good. Then you just blend it up. It turns out to look like this. And then I just go and top it off with some more fruit. So I used a Sharon fruit and a passion fruit. Yes, I love my swirls, by the way. I cannot get enough of them and also because it was green I thought I would continue with that theme and top it off with some pumpkin seeds and also they are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids which are a central part of the diet and there we go there we go this is me taking the scoop which failed actually it dripped everywhere Ronola. so you need some dates oats coconut dried fruit pieces and some nuts and I chose pecan nuts but feel free to get really creative with this recipe and just add whatever you like. It works best if you blend everything except from the oats first and then you blend the oats last, otherwise it will turn to a complete flour and you won't get it looking chunky like this. This huge mason jar is from Ikea by the way. Oh my goodness, final recipe, oatmeal or porridge as most people know in the UK but I think oatmeal sounds better. So I am making banana apple cinnamon oatmeal and this apple was from my garden so I didn't pay anything for it. With regards to the method what you want to do first is just chop your apple up into quite small chunks as you can see I'm doing here and then I added about half of the apple to my small little pan that I was using. You then want to just go and add a bit of water because we're just going to stew the apple for a bit on the stove so that it softens up. And yes, I'm pressing on a piece here. You see, that is the softness that I was going for. So I didn't time this exactly, but I think I did it for about five minutes. But you're aiming for that softness. Then you want some banana. It can be frozen or it doesn't have to be frozen. It doesn't matter. You need one cup of oats and you need some cinnamon. I just added the banana to the pan and the oats. I almost forgot the water. You need the water, otherwise it will stick and burn. Don't make that mistake. And then what you're doing is you're just going to be stirring it on the stove to make sure it doesn't stick. As long as you use a non-stick pan, you're not gonna have a problem with this. I also don't measure out the cinnamon. I just add quite a lot because I like it to be cinnamony. And I should also say that you can substitute the water for plant-based milks or add a bit of each. I then added some toppings, so the leftover apple, some blackberries, which are again free from my local area and garden. I then added some more frozen berries, a yellow plum and some milled linseed. And here is me being me eating all the leftovers. Mm. So good. I was also trying to do it without mum seeing. Hello. 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 Come here, Sorry. Come look this down. Do it over the sink. Oh, yeah, sorry. Stop. 
but then I came back for more. Here we go people, students out there, the price breakdown. I'm going to be adding the full recipes, including the prices and where I get everything from in the description box below, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. Most things I get from Asda, Aldi, and this very, very cheap shop in the UK called Home Bargains. I am a student myself, so I am always hunting for the best deals out there, and I think my family has got this sussed. I've grown up searching for bargains and the yellow labels and I will continue to do so even when I'm not a student and I advise you to do the same with regards to fresh fruit I would say always buy in season look out for free fruit in your garden local area and also check out Aldi if you haven't discovered Aldi yet who are you so those were my five super super easy simple healthy vegan student budget friendly recipes to start off this set of videos with also leave in the comments down below which recipes you want to see next if you see me make something i'm also thinking about doing more meal prep ideas and recipes that are full meals so breakfast lunch and dinner please remember to tag me on instagram or twitter at veganology if you recreate any of these recipes or you try it at home yourself also use the link holly10 down below to get 10 percent off at coconut bowls they are so amazing. They, they are the actual coconuts. They've just been polished and made into these bowls. So it means that the coconut shells don't get thrown away and put into landfill to just create more waste. So hence it's a way of recycling and reusing materials and just being more environmentally friendly and sustainable. 99% of the coconut shells are discarded and burned as waste, which is so bad. When you can just have them as amazingly cute bowls to put your food in. I love them all. Um, I'm also sitting here with this Peter, I think you say Peter, Peta, Peta t-shirt on People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals And it is a huge, huge organisation which promotes veganism and plant-based lifestyles It's so in line with my channel and what I wish to promote I was sent in a post one of their free vegan starter kits and they are free This is not an ad or anything, I'm just saying that if you want to get yourself a free vegan starter kit from Peter. just go on their website and you can order yourself one i shall leave the link in my description box below i got this t-shirt these badges which say basically no fur they then have this little starter book and this i read the other day whilst emily was cutting my hair it was an actual salon <laughs> um it's really good because it actually has a load of recipes in here as well and it just has like has like a weekly meal plan so i had a flick and a read through and it was really really good it covers a range of topics also, it talks about in here where you can buy, say, like, vegan chicken and vegan turkey and vegan meats, as I say. It basically covers every side of veganism, and I really like it. Some of these stickers, which I probably will bang up around college next year. It's a really nice starter kick. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I will see you next week in another video. Please like it, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new around here, and... Yes, I hope you have an amazing week and eat amazing food. Bye!